Hello there, I'm the Lady of Nemesis who welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Last time we made a short stop in Danrum, turning in some of our previous quests. We also picked up a quest concerning Jowen, the mage who had poisoned all Aemon, and tracked him down. We decided he was no longer a threat and allowed him to continue on his path. Along the way we were also ambushed by skilled trackers, who were after Leliana of all people. Apparently her old patron had tracked her down and wished to kill her. In reply we returned back to Danum in order to meet with this woman and she did not make it out of that encounter alive. Though relieved at finally being free, Leliana said that she had a lot to think about. Stop right there, outsider. The Dela should camp in this spot. I suggest you go elsewhere, and quickly. I find that hard to believe. What business could we Dalish possibly have with a group like yours? A Grey Warden? How do I know you're telling the truth? No, that's true. Perhaps I shall let the Keeper decide for himself. In the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself, and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. Hmm. I see we have guests. And a hound amongst them. As if we haven't had enough problems with such creatures. <laughs> Who are these strangers, Nithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvinen Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zaphrian, the Keeper of this clan. Its guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? If you came to bring news of the Blight in the South, it is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us. 
though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak. Even with all our magic and healing skill, we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that... that would be no trivial task to retrieve. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. There is no guarantee that this will work, as I suspect. But it's the only hope we have left. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. Then I suggest you see Master Verathorn. I will instruct him to put aside some supplies for you, the kind that the hunters use. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. This should be easy enough. On it. And Derenetitian, stranger. I am Atlas. I hope the others have not been too harsh in their treatment of you. That is very generous of you. Most would assume we are unkind as a rule, and that is not the case. Especially not to a Grey Warden. But we have lost much. And it is easy to forget simple niceties at such a time. I understand you will search for the wolves in the Brazilian forest. I would join you, but Zathrian has... forbidden me. None of us are happy about this situation, and I least of all. But I shouldn't speak too much about this, especially with an outsider. I am sure you have little interest in my problems. It's odd to talk so freely with a stranger, but perhaps you can help me. My wife, Denila, and I both fought the werewolves in the ambush. She was injured so gravely, the curse spread rapidly in her. Zathrian fought hard to ease her pain, but there was little he could do. And though he says that Denila is dead, he will not let me see her. Her body. I am beginning to believe she became a werewolf. And that it is being kept from me so I do not go chasing after her. If I could just know if Denila is alive or what happened to her, then I could be at peace. I have an amulet made by our craftsmen. It's not much, but I would be happy to give it to you in return for any news. This should be easy enough. This should be easy enough. On it.
What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Ferrothorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durgenlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Ferrothorn. And so they should. Truly, the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. Now then, please forgive my distraction, stranger. Is there something that you need? Yes, yes, the Keeper sent word that you might ask me for such. I took the liberty of assembling some goods that our hunters use. I notice you've already found the chest I placed it in. Feel free to sort through and take whatever you found there, if you've not done so already. I'm the clan's craftsmaster. It's my responsibility to learn what I can of the ancient elven arts of shaping wood and ore. In truth, we Dalish know little of the art compared to what we once did. And even what we know has taken us many lifetimes to achieve. There is wood that, if treated properly, is as hard as steel but far lighter. It grows only in this forest, Ironbark. The Keeper has forbidden us from entering the forest to collect the wood. This means I cannot make our finest crafts for years to come. I would be hesitant to ask it of you, but if you should come across iron bark, I suppose there would be no harm in gathering some. It is blue and very distinctive. You can only harvest the bark which has fallen off the tree from age. Now, if you find some, bring it to me, and I will craft it for you. That would please me, so long as our hunters come first. I am no merchant, but let us trade. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. I'm Darinatitian Grey Warden. My name is Lanaya. I am Zaprian's first, what you might call an apprentice, perhaps. I've been studying under the Keeper all my life. I am a bit curious of the outside world. Do you mind if I ask you a question or two? <laughs> what an odd thing to say. I mean about the outside world, of course. I hear the human cities are very large, Thousands upon thousands of souls, all packed together in their houses. Is that true? How very loud that must be with everyone talking all at once. I try to imagine those of our people living in such a place, surrounded by walls of stone and indifference. It is a difficult thought. I suppose you have met many of my kind in your travels. My heart goes out to them. It is said that one day, we will have a land of our own. We Dalish gather the ancient wisdom in preparation for this. When that day comes, all elves, even those who have forgotten, will reclaim their former glory. I have one more question, though I'm not sure you can answer it. Do the humans ever regret what they did to us? And yet, even if some regret, they do nothing. A poet once wrote of them before the fall of the Dales. Like dragons they fly, glory upon wings. 
Like dragons, they savage. Fearsome, pretty things. But you don't need me to quote poetry to you. Forgive me. Perhaps you have some questions of your own. I'm hardly anyone special, I assure you. If I seem different from the rest of my clan, it's only because I was born amongst humans. I came to the Dalish at a very young age, but I've always retained my curiosity about the world I came from. My parents were servants to a human merchant whose caravan plied the southern routes. One day, bandits killed him, and my parents both. I was the only survivor, just a young girl, and the bandits took me. I was their servant for several years. Do I? It's taken many years of reflection to come to terms with it, to forgive what those men did to me. I can only imagine what would have happened had the clan not saved me from them. I owe them my life for that, and more. The bandits killed a scout when the clan passed near their camp. When the clan discovered him, Zathrian came looking for his killers. He followed their tracks for almost a month, and when he finally caught up to us, he fell on the bandits like a terror. No one could stop him. I sat there, and I watched him attack them in a blur, and I reveled in every blow. When he saw me, the fury in his eyes turned to pity. He took me back to the clan, and I've been here ever since. It's possible I might have had some, maybe many. Zathrian offered to take me back, but I had no idea where I was from, and I wanted to stay with a man who rescued me. The clan is my family. Any others out there? It's best they believe that little girl died with her parents. For now, the clan is all I need. My old world could not have offered me all this, and the knowledge of a Keeper as well. Perhaps one day, when I am Keeper, I might inquire out of curiosity. I'm not sure what lies down that road except pain, however. I am not a Keeper. I am Zathrian's first. Though because I was not born into the clan, becoming his first was very difficult. We Dalish have old traditions. The clans come from the ranks of the nobility that once ruled the Dales, you see. The keepers of those old clans have the strongest and purest blood that reaches back to the days of Arlathan. I had to compete against the other candidates for first, to be better than them in everything, simply because I was not of the old blood. I am. The ceremony where Zathrian anointed me as his first was the proudest day of my life. The clan has placed great trust in me. One day, I will lead them and be the one who secures our future. They have reason. Since the days of Arlathan, my people have been either subjugated or homeless. That's true, and you're not even a human, so it's doubly unfair. But fairness does not play into such feelings. No outsider has ever been good for us. I was not born here, so I see things differently from the others. Still, I do not blame them for what they feel. Perhaps this may change one day. But I believe the humans would have to take the first steps, if they are capable. It was our ancestral home long ago when the humans first came to these lands. We were free then, and immortal. We did not know how to deal with the humans, and in the end, they turned their power against us and destroyed our Lathan. Our ancestors were enslaved, and our culture lost forever. Not to my knowledge, According to the old tales, the human mages sank Arlathan into the ground, crushing it beneath the rock. The Tevinter Imperium was a force to be reckoned with. It was ruled by mages with powerful blood magic. Though Arlathan fought, they lost. Shemlin, we call them. Quick children. I suppose it takes a certain arrogance to look upon another people as children, no? Perhaps we should be more heedful of our own role in Arlathan's loss. Even so, it was a bitter lesson to learn. One we are not grateful for. Certainly. As you wish. Darth Shirel. I must say, I thought the Dalish would be much harder to find. Do you think this clan let us find them? Uh, hello? I'm 
Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. I... Never mind, just go away and leave me alone. I told you to leave me alone. I shouldn't be talking about this to an outsider. You wouldn't understand. I suppose there's no harm in it. It's not like you can help me. I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of a beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. I am no child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt and... And Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. I suppose you could, but what good would that do? The situation hasn't changed. Really? I... I I'm willing to try anything. Siranas. Oh, Ma Siranas. I will pray to the goddess of love that you are successful. This should be easy enough. Darren Atishan, outsider. You spoke to him? What did he say? Oh. I don't expect an outsider to understand our ways, but I just can't bond with Kamen. He's been a hunter apprentice for over two years now, and he's yet to slay a proper beast. Each time he's tried, something has gone wrong. Perhaps the creators do not wish us to bond. I cannot bond with an apprentice hunter, can I? But what if he never becomes a proper hunter? What will become of our family? You are right. As a woman, I must ensure that he believes in himself. All I've done is make him miserable. I know I cannot be like you, both woman and Grey Warden. But I can be formidable in my own small way, can't I? Masiranas, thank you. You have helped me put this into perspective. I will go and speak to Kamen. Kamen, I have been a fool. Gaina? What, what do you mean? Have you changed your mind? I have. The outsider has helped me to see that I was wrong. I have made you miserable, and I should not have. But what about my hunt? I don't care about that. I know you will pass your hunt in time, and we will be happy. Us and our children. Thank you, Gaina. You've made me a happy man. I feel blessed by the gods today. We are both very grateful for the part you've played in bringing us together. How marvelous you are. I am so happy. This is so wonderful. Young love allowed to flourish. Here, take this. It's been in my family for a very long time, but I hope it plays some part in your battle against the Darkspawn. It's the very least we could do. Dalish calls them their guides. They even lead an elf to oblivion when he dies, or so they claim. A 
As you wish. Who comes? Oh, I beg your pardon, stranger. I was so busy attending to the Hala, I did not hear your approach. My name is Alora. I am the master herder in charge of caring for the Hala. Not as exciting as being a Grey Warden, but the Hala are vital to us. They are the noble beasts that pull our Aravel. What humans call land ships. They are our companions and our guides. I have heard of the Bronto. They are beasts of burden, yes? The Hala are not like that. We ride the Hala, but never with reins or a saddle. It is the Hala who decide where to lead us, and our privilege that they take our Aravel with them. In return, it's the herder's job to speak to the Hala and care for their needs. It's a bond of friendship, and not servitude. I fear she may have been bitten during the werewolf attack. I have tried speaking with her, but she is too agitated for me to understand. The curse would not affect her as it would us, but it would still be lethal. And it may prove contagious to the other Hala as well. I can find no wound on her, but if she's truly ill, then... Then I will have to put her out of her misery, for her sake as well as that of the others. I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. It. She's calming down. That's it, love. Be calm. Tell me what troubles you. Ah, I see. It is her life mate who is sick, not her. He was bitten on the leg during the attack, and she fears greatly for him. I did not realize another hollow was injured. This will allow me to prevent the sickness from spreading to the entire herd. Masiranus, thank you. You have done my clan a great boon this day. I will always be grateful for your help. We greet you, child of the stone. I understand you are to venture into the haunted forest to save our brethren. I suspect your efforts may be in vain. An entire group of our hunters went into the forest to do as you intend, and they have not returned. Then you are very brave to adventure into such a place, even knowing the danger that awaits. Your courage impresses us greatly. Nothing will help us now. Least of all, the meddling of an outsider. You are being most unkind, Cyril. Would you refuse our hunter's help simply because of the hand that offered it? <sighs> you shame me, Lethalan. I have allowed my bitterness to cloud my better judgment. Forgive me, Grey Warden. It is most difficult to forget the lessons the Shemlin have taught us. It is even more difficult when you live amongst them, trust me. Perhaps I can yet make amends. Stay while I spin a tale for our children. And then I will tell you of the forest if you desire. Come and join us then, all of you. Now, what say we tell the story of the fall of the Dales? Which of you children knows that best? I... I think I do. Yes? Then come, child. Oh, don't be frightened of the outsiders. Now, where do you suppose such a tale should begin? When we were slaves? Yes. Long ago, our people were slaves to an empire the Shemlin had built on the darkest magic. They took away our history and our language and left us nothing. And then that empire fell. We were freed. Because Andraste came with her army and Chartan joined her. Yes. Andraste, the Shemlin prophet, came out of the south and challenged the Tevinter Imperium. Our ancestor, Chartan, fought at her side. And when the rebellion came to an end, we were given a new homeland in the west, the Dales. We began to rebuild the culture and history we had lost in our years of slavery. 
We worshipped the creators and made the Dales our home. Perhaps you know what happened next, stranger. Do you know what happened to the Dales? Indeed. They resented that we would not worship their maker. And they resented our ways because they were so different from their own. The Shemlin nations grew cold towards the Dales. They called us blasphemers and tyrants and declared war upon us. A great crusade. And which is worse, the actions of those who believed they were right, or the inaction of those who knew they were wrong? Oh, I am certain we played a part in our downfall. We believed that the Shemlin would not revoke their prophet's gift so lightly. We were wrong. They took our lands, forcing us to abandon our gods and live as beggars in Shemlin cities. But there were those of us who refused to abandon our ways. They emblazoned the symbols of the creators upon their flesh and vowed to keep their ancient law alive. That's us. That's the Dalish. Indeed, child. We chose to wander, homeless, rather than be ruled by the Shemlin. And all our clans wander alone until the day we have a homeland once more. Then we bring the old ways back to our people, because they have forgotten it all. For we are the Dalish, the keepers of the lost law. The walkers of the lonely path. We are the Alvanar, and never again shall we submit. And that is the tale of the Dales, stranger. Thank you for allowing us to tell it to you. Perhaps one day, you will tell us a tale of your people. A day when you are not guest and stranger, but savior. Now, as I said I would, I can tell you what I know of the Brazilian forest. Do you wish to hear it? Our legends say that before the Shemlin came, the Brazilian forest was a place of our ancestors that predated even our oldest homeland. The people of the Imperium came here and gave the forest its name. If they found traces of our ancestors, we cannot say. If they did, those elves were slain or enslaved. We know only that a great many battles were fought here. These trees grow upon the graves of those who fell, Shemlin and elves both. Indeed. Very wise of you. There was so much death that the veil into the beyond was torn. The Shemlin know the beyond as the Fade, the place of dreams and spirits. When the veil is torn, spirits pass into our world freely. The legends say that one great spirit possessed the wolf that became Witherfang, who passed its curse of rage onto men and created werewolves. So Zathrian insists. He says that Witherfang does not age as the werewolves do. Witherfang is as much spirit as it is beast, and thus it is immortal. Perhaps it cannot even be slain. At the very least, it is old and powerful, much as Zathrian himself. One last warning. The forest is like a thing alive. It changes as it wills closing paths behind you and opening up new ones. Too many have become lost within, unable to find their way out. Were I you, I would endeavor not to make the forest my enemy. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time.